A game changer could be right around the corner, bringing mm. extinct species back to life. Picture a world where extinct animals once again walk the earth. No longer just species of ancient history, no, or much loved fictional sidekicks. You have beautiful eyes. Get off my face. Woolly mammoths, dodo birds and Tasmanian tigers all on the path of de-extinction and it's happening within the decade. This is the mission of genetic engineering company Colossal. And it's kind of like a cut and paste job where you line up your DNA sequences, you find where mammoths and elephants are different, you cut out the elephant version and paste the mammoth version in its place all in a bid to mitigate climate change and enhance the genetic future of mankind. It's unreal. It is pretty cool. Joining us now live from Dallas, Texas, is Colossal CEO Ben Lamb. Your biggest project is bringing Carl back to life. Oh, oh <laughs> My co-host. Bro. Don't listen to her. Are we going to see woolly mammoths or the dodo <laughs> bird back on our mean streets? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's it's great. It's great talking to you guys because, you know, one of the projects that we're working on is in collaboration with the University of Melbourne and, and Dr. Andrew Pass. So, uh, you know, the thylacine, which is, you know, obviously a, another fan favorite we're working on. And so it's great to be talking to you guys in Australia. So talk us through that positive impact and what it'll have on the environment. Yeah, so a lot of times what people don't realize is that when you remove a keystone species, from the environment, there's absolutely these ripple effects that start to happen. So, for example, with the thylacine in, in Tasmania, when you actually remove a keystone species, specifically a predator, there's an entire tropic downgrading that occurs, and you actually start to have all these other uh, diseased animals, like the facial tumor disease that we're seeing in the Tasmanian devils, and other marsupials. Uh, some, you know, uh, go down in population, some go uh, up in population, and the entire ecosystem starts to break down. And we've actually seen this on a larger scale in the Arctic when these large cold tolerant megafauna like the woolly mammoths and others got removed from that environment. Mm -hmm. So our hope is that we not only bring them back to this planet, but put them back into the ecosystem to help re reverse the, the effects that uh, that their void has oh, caused. How are you going to do it? You're going to be allowed to do it? And when will we be able to see a mammoth at a zoo near you? <laughs> Yeah, so our goal is to have our first calves uh, by 2028. Wow. Uh, you know, we're working closely. We, we actually, you know, we've raised $225 million. We have collaborators Jeez. like Andrew Pask and George Church and Beth Shapiro. We have 80, we have five labs, 85 incredible women and men scientists working on these three iconic species. And, you know, I, I hope that given the shorter gestation of, you know, the, the thylacine and the dodo, it could come before the mammoth. Uh, but the mammoth, our goal is uh, 2028 and we're currently on track. What, what poor female out there is going to have to carry a woolly mammoth <laughs> to gestation? <laughs> What? Yeah, we work with all the, the closest, we work with the closest phylogenic relatives, so like the closest living species. So an, uh, an Asian elephant will care. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah but we'll what a bum it. steer for them. <laughs> <laughs> They're about oh, the same God. size. So, you know, so I, I don't think it's, it's, it's not too much of a struggle. I got them, it. So. It's fascinating, man. It is so fascinating. Good on you. Thank Love you so it. much for being with us. All right, well, a Brisbane based fashion does. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?